Edge investor Mark Falberg called it the most undervalued commodity back in May. And we are talking, of course, about natural gas. It has fallen more than 40 percent this year, now at a seven-year low. And that makes it the worst performer on most commodity indices. One hedge fund appears to be throwing caution to the wind, according to the Financial Times. The fund, whose uh, name wasn't disclosed, placed a large bet that natural gas prices will triple by the winter in the Northern Hemisphere. The report, uh, which cited traders, it says that the fund spent millions for the right to buy U.S. U.S. natural gas and more than triple its current levels. And we asked a top performing commodity investor last week for his view. Now, uh, Coleman's uh, fund returned more than 20 percent last year, while the average hedge fund lost 18 percent. And here to look at how the market sees it, as uh, Coleman said, average forward prices of natural gas are already at $6. And the average forecast of analysts is for $6.50. Now, for 2011, forward prices and estimates go up even higher at almost $7 and $8, respectively. And speaking of uh, gas, uh, shares of Australian coal seam gas producer have more than tripled this year, beating the ASX 200 by quite a handy margin, as you see on the graph. And there could be more upside if the forecast from analysts at Wilson HTM comes true. They're tipping the stock to rise yet another 60 percent. So what's making investors and analysts are so bullish on the stock? Well, let's uh, ask John DiStefani, who is the CEO of uh, Bow Energy, and the company explores for coal seam gas. And John joins us from our Sydney studios. Nice to have you with us, uh, John. Impressive results good for morning, your shares. Um, good morning to you. Your shares have tripled. Yet, interestingly enough, your company has yet to turn in a profit. So what kind of returns are investors expecting from your assets, considering you're still in the red? Well, Bow Energy is at this point in time in a phase of more exploration and appraisal. So we're we're focused on delivering uh, to our shareholders uh, increased gas reserves, and that, that's our program over the next uh, eight to twelve months. Our ultimate goal is to supply gas into the proposed LNG facilities in Queensland, and that's where we see our real upside. Okay, so can you put a dollar sign to this, an asset value? I mean, what's the potential value of your coal seam assets uh, in dollar terms uh, on, say, a per share basis? Well, we believe that uh, if we achieve our targets, uh, which are by the end of next year, uh, 1,900 petajoules of, of 3P gas, uh, that'll put us within one of the, the majors in, in Australia. So uh, without trying to put a price on it, uh, Wilson's have put our 12-month target price of uh, $1.95, we believe that's discounted based on uh, what we expect to deliver in terms of coal seam gas. So we're, we're heads down and focus on delivering our exploration targets, and that, that will definitely see further gains in our price as we deliver, deliver those coal seam gas targets. Well, your stock price is trading at a huge premium. I mean, our estimates on the Bloomberg system show that Bow Energy uh, has a price to book value of six times. That's really double the pure group average. That includes uh, coal seam gas rivals like Arrow, Eastern Star, and Santos, along with Origin Energy. Do you think this is a fair estimate, a fair price for your stock? Yeah, absolutely. We, we've had, uh, from the beginning of this year, we had no gas reserve uh, certified in our on our acreage and uh, just recently within the last week we announced our upgrade to over uh, 650 petaljoules or 3p gas and that that's a reflection of where the price is, is at now a fair reflection and we believe that again there'll be further gains as we increase our reserves and we'll do that over stages over the next uh, six to twelve months yeah and that's why you don't we think six times book value is a huge premium for any stock though well our uh, our phase of our of our business is is exploration and appraisal where we're not in production so you can't really gauge us on a on a cash flow basis where we're in a phase of exploration and delivering reserves uh, the mm -hmm. the production will come it's a matter of getting the the exploration phase through and delivering our reserve targets okay John one more question for you uh, you know Australia's uh, coal seam gas industry has really attracted a lot of investment in the uh, past year 22 billion dollars worth your company is cited as an M&A target let me just ask you if you would be willing to sell if the opportunity is right well we've had no approaches uh, and as I said we've had our heads down in terms of delivering our targets uh, look if we get an offer we'll we'll look at for for what it's worth and and uh, 
if the shareholder value is there, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that through the, through the board. Uh, however, we're not focused on that. We're focused on delivering our targets and becoming a, a long-term player in, in the upstream business in Australia. Okay, John, nice talking to you. You take care. John DeStefani of uh, Bow Energy. And